not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for daily updates. Hello friends, welcome to Express Current Affairs. Let us see the important topics covered from today's Hindu newspaper along with the important questions useful for all upcoming exams. I have provided you the PDF link of previous day's video in today's description below if anybody needs it to download it. Let's start. Indian Air Force Wing Commander was taken into custody by Pakistan Army after which of the following jet he was flying was shot down F-16, MiG-21, Mirage 2000, Sukhoi Su-30, the answer is B, MiG-21. You should know the names of the fighter jets along with the places of origin. Very important, F-16 manufactured by the United States. Currently, Pakistan Air Force is using F-16 fighter jets. MiG-21 manufactured by the former Soviet Union. Mirage 2000 hails from the country France and Sukhoi Su-30 manufactured in Russia. The Mikhoi and Gurevich MiG-21 is a supersonic fighter jet and interceptor aircraft. MiG-21 pilot wing commander Abhinandan Vartaman is in Pakistan Army custody currently. Now the wing commander chased the Pakistani jets to push them back and he had to eject over the line of control after the MiG-21 he was flying was shot by a Pakistani plane. He landed in a Pakistan-occupied Kashmir area where he was taken into the custody. Remember, his father is also a retired Air Marshal and Param Vishishta Seva Medal recipient. According to Article 3 of Geneva Convention on Treatment of Prisoners of Wars, nations should avoid which of these acts? Taking of hostages, violence to life and person, cruel treatment and torture. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. According to Article 3, of Geneva Convention on Treatment of Prisoners of Wars. The nation should avoid acts of cruel treatment and torture, violence to life and person, murder of all kinds, mutilation, taking of hostages, humiliation and degraded, degrading treatment. No, all these should be avoided. But Pakistan violates the Geneva Convention. They had beaten up IAF wing commander Abhinandan Vartaman, black and blue, and trying to get the information from him. If you remember the Kargil War 1999, IAF pilot Nachiketa was remained in Pak custody for almost 8 days. When he came back to India in his interview, he reveals how Pakistan forces treated him. He said the situation was difficult to be described in words and felt that death would have been a better solution. Now India demands immediate and safe return of the IAF wing commander Abhinandan Vardaman. RIC stands for which of the following emerging countries in the global economy? Russia, Iran, China, Romania, India, Canada, Russia, India, China or Rwanda, Iraq, Cambodia. The answer is C. Russia, India and China. RIC foreign ministers meeting was held in Wuzhen of China. Russian foreign minister Sergei Lavrov, Chinese foreign minister Wang Yi and external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj attended this meeting. China, Russia and India have reaffirmed strong opposition to terrorism in its various forms and China's foreign minister Wang Yi says that they would cooperate on eradicating the breeding grounds of terrorism. Who was re-elected as the president of Nigeria? Mahmud Buhari, Atiku Abu Bakar, Bukola Saraki or Yemi Osin Bajo. The answer is A. Mohamed Buhari is re-elected as the president of Nigeria. President Buhari wins the second term and he was first elected in 2015 to lead Africa's most populous nation and top oil producer. Nigeria is an African country on the Gulf of Guinea. The capital of Nigeria is Abuja and the currency is Nigerian Naira. World's smallest baby boy was born in which country's hospital? China, Japan, India, France. The answer is B. Japan. The world's smallest baby boy was born in Japan. The tiny tot weighed just 268 grams when he was delivered at 24 weeks. 
this infant born in tokyo of japan was weighing same as of a beetroot after almost 5 months of treatment he now weighs 3.238 kilos and discharged from the hospital so as he is the world's smallest baby boy remember the number of grams he weighed center has announced creation of a separate railway zone in which state andhra pradesh gujarat assam odisha the answer is a andhra pradesh the center has announced the creation of separate railway zone in andhra pradesh and andhra pradesh gets new railway zone called south coast railway in visakhapatnam now this south coast railway would comprise of guntakal guntur vijayawada divisions along with walter division which would be bifurcated aims to set up its 22nd branch in which of the following state punjab haryana jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh the answer is d himachal pradesh all india institute of medical sciences will be establishing its 22nd branch at maneti in rewari district of haryana aims will be set up under pradhan mantri swasthya suraksha yojana first pv narsimha rao national leadership and lifetime achievement award was given to pranab mukherji manmohan singh gulab nabi azad or ak antony the answer is b manmohan singh first pv narsimha rao national leadership and lifetime achievement award was given to manmohan singh pranab mukherji presented this award to manmohan singh pv narsimha rao full name is pamula parthi venkat narsimha rao He was an Indian lawyer and politician who served as the ninth Prime Minister of India from 1991 to 1996. He is also the first Prime Minister from South India. Let's see the question for the day. Saurabh Verma and Manu Bakar won gold in which of the following mixed team event? 10 meter air pistol, 25 meter standard pistol, 10 meter air rifle, or 50 meter rifle prone? Mention your answers in the comment section. Let's see the answer for previous day's question. National Science Day celebrated every year on Feb 24th, 25th, 26th of Feb 28th. The answer is D, February 28th. As rightly answered by Vikram Bhupali, Malish Miyakala, Rahul Yadav and Indra Vadan Solanki. Every year we celebrate National Science Day on February 28th. And the theme for this year is Science for the People and the People for Science. Now this day marks important discovery made by the scientist C V Raman. He discovered the Raman effect in the year 1928 in which he demonstrated the effect on scattering of light when passing through different materials. For his discovery C V Raman was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930 and he also received the Bharat Ratna in the year 1954. Remember all the years previously asked and in the field of science and technology Now we know National Science Day then National Technology Day celebrated on May 11th to commemorate the successful testing of nuclear devices in Pokhran of Rajasthan in 1998 so remember these two days National Science Day and National Technology Day quote for the day winners are not people who never fail but people who never quit so it doesn't matter if you failed in the past All that matters is that you shouldn't give up. This is it for today. Have a nice day and see you tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe.